and welcome to Indian Time. Today, we're going to talk about the Swan Massacre again. Uh, we're right at the start of, of hunting season today and right around the 93rd anniversary of a tragic incident in our tribal history known as the Swan Massacre, which occurred on October 8th, 19, 18th, 1908. We have talked at length about the Swan Massacre in previous programs, but this incident in which a game warden needlessly killed four members of, the Ponderay hunting, of a Ponderay hunting party, including the father of John Peter Paul, our cherished elder and war dance chief, who we lost last January. John's mother, Kalodli, in return killed the warden to keep him from killing her and other women of, who survived the incident. Today, most of our program will consist of a 16-minute interview with Joe Ineas about the Swan Massacre. For those of you who did not know or have the pleasure to know, uh, of knowing him, Joe Ineas was one of the elders who helped found the uh, Salish Pondery Culture Committee back in 1975. For many, many years, he was one of the elders who we looked for uh, for knowledge and wisdom, and for who generously shared uh, whatever he knew about the culture, our language, and our history. Joe was born in 1896, so he was already 12 years old at the time of the Swan Massacre, and was a classmate of the 14-year-old boy who was killed there, but last ceased to we. Joe was the last surviving CSNKT um, veteran of World War I and saw extremely heavy combat at the Second Battle of the Marne and other major, uh, major engagements. So he was a big part of World War I. This is another one, uh, one of the many examples of tribal members who have volunteered to serve this country even before they were accepted as full members of the American community. As you know, the Native Americans or, uh, were not granted uh, U.S. citizenship until 1924, some five years after the World War I armistice of November 1919. Joe died in 1997 at the age of 101. Joe was a man who was uh, one of the most uh, genuinely self-facing people who we have ever known. Um, he would only speak in interviews on subjects about what he had clear first-hand knowledge of and had uttered certain, uh, to the fact at hand, he would make sure that he knew everything before he talked about it. This videotape was recorded in 1988 uh, when Joe was 92 as part of the uh, Salish Kootenai documentary project in which Roy Big Crane and Thompson Smith recorded elders telling the story of the tribes and more specifically the history of Kerr Dam and many of the uh, many of those il uh, interviews were included in that and that documentary uh, which was called The Place Names of Fallen Waters uh, but many other wonderful interviews did not make make it into the final uh, edit, edited program and are still available here at the Salish Kootenai College Media Center. In telling about the Swan Massacre, every elder adds certain details and, leaves, and they leave out others according to what he or she may have heard or witnessed. Joe uh, does not tell too much about the warden's visit to the camp before the final shooting. He does not tell too much about Kadali's search for the uh, rescue party or what Nguyen Square and others um, 
in, in the rescue party uh, did. But Joe uh, does add a number of elements to the uh, story that are unique because to listen to what Joe tells about the, the character of the people killed by the warden, uh, be sure to listen uh, to the end of the interview when he tells about how he and his family went over to the Swan earlier th th um, that summer of 1908, but got a bad feeling and returned, not every, not even taking the regular trail before they even harvested the huckleberries. They came back uh, because of this bad feeling. Be sure to uh, also listen to Joe tell about the efforts to bring back the bodies and the horses that belonged to the party. Place names that we will use today is Eplkomkin, which means it has hair, referring to the tree moss, which is the which was the site of the massacre. In Pa is a means burnt area, a traditional Pandere camping area, uh, where a party was camped at Fand Kadali and then led rescue parties back to the uh, massacre site. Located at the confluence of Swan River, uh, where um, and what whites today call Squaw Creek. Additionally, I would like to say that under the Native American delegation and Montana legislation, legislature passed a bill a couple of years ago mandating that all place names in Montana uh, that contain the derogatory term squaw uh, should be changed. Um, and tribes throughout the state of Montana are now working on this. Uh, the Salish Culture Committee and the Elders Advisory Council uh, also work uh, on the project to, to take and replace some of these names, the derogatory uh, word squaw, and replace it with some of the elders' uh, names for these places. Um, so there's a lot of research that has to be done, and if there's any uh, elders that knew of some of these areas uh, that referred to uh, the area other than um, so we can change, I guess, change the, take the name Squaw out and replace it with some of our, our own Salish words in it. In Ba and Epsomkin are one of these areas we hope to replace uh, on the maps uh, in its state. Uh, Inpa uh, is one of the numerous name places that reflect traditional use of fire uh, on the land. Fire was used by Indian people many, many years ago to clear out some of these areas. And uh, in the fall, after they were done hunting and picking berries, they'd, they'd, clip, they'd burn these areas out so it'd be nice and clear for the following year. And so when they came back, uh, it would be cleaned out. So fire was used by our tribal people for many, many years and, and should be continued to, to do so. Uh, we will now uh, show you the video uh, that uh, Joe Ineas, uh, uh did. It was taped by our program. We do foods to me else. Chimu, it's a swiss. It's just me. It's Jay, but it's Jay, you. It's Jay, me, you. It's just them, Chewy. Wait. Sit, wait. Okay. He, he wants the. He wants the. Okay. Okay. Uh,
but you see, how she is open as that's not a scary mutual see. She's a system sui it is sui no one says, but I swear. Oh, the camel is not a conchu, qualichu is not a conchu. It's not a conchu, it's swan, swan lake, was tempted to say, each saying. So, Christian, oh, then go cheat in them to Kunem. So, in them, they press the quay. Not a press the Kunem come so German. Oh, that's tap the sweet to it, but as you were, Swiss says, was open at the most. I meet she open at the most so she was a sensuous net. Tam has and Han tripped him was best out of the mills and here. You would soon to net up, nipped up, stack on them, come so the man. I was. What you see at the whole season, quite looks like a stack with a shin as to them come soldiers. Come soldiers, that come take what the new cocks come soldiers, that Nempen says, the cock has cool you. The Nem kell, ha kell, imes. Ha vagy jön, te mesztő nem komszolnon. De neki, potu, pipahotu, és szúi nekte, a kalulc. Te, te szúi nekte. Te, 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 te szúi nekte, nem oksz kommentem. Hi. Oh, she's cheating to me. Don't let me get stuck with. Never let me get stuck with. Hi, what's wrong with me? It's the plastic. It's the tweet. Can't stop this crack. Get stuck with. Hi, da. Oh, so yeah, come to me. Get him, she. He did. Epson Stas Cars. Oh, in go too. I said, was the arms. What say you put his silver cochitus conem? Suntum clepst. Press him, she take away. Oh, it came to it up and tem. Up, <laughs> 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 It's been a while. Oh, it's just seen you. It's just so well, it's just so well. It's just seen them, it's crazy. The law of God. Oh, it's just some empty, not so. Ah, it was cool. It's like, but it's a little sad with.
Hartzen wird sich. Ich habe ein Spiel, das ist so nicht zu Ukund. Das schaut aus, das ist zu Ukund. Zu Ukund muss. Das ist zu Ukund. 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 Ich <laughs> Switch <laughs> Come to Quail, that's your and Hell. Come to Quicks to Hell, the lock. Damn, so she was your Hell, she doesn't come up. Hey, so little, and she knew little, okay. Snips, <laughs> 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 Also, Doesn't the Ich hatte den Mumpuls. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video interview with Joe Ineas on the Swan Massacre. It was a very tragic time for our people. At this time of the year, uh, back in 1908, when people were out hunting, trying to 
um, prepare themselves, getting food and things for, for the winter months, and uh, this tragic incident took place in the Swan, the Swan Valley. I hope that uh, uh, you understand a little more about uh, the things that our people had to go through um, in the earlier times and struggling uh, with surviving in this world of ours. I hope that uh, uh, people look at this video and, and have more respect for this time of the year, for hunting, that it's not just time to go out and kill a deer, an elk, or whatever, but it, it's time. Uh, it's part of our, our way of life. It's, it's part of survival. It's not time to go out and, and shoot some trophy buck with something going out and getting something to eat, something to put on the table for your family. So I hope uh, and when you go hunting that you think about these things, you think about the, the past of our ancestors and our elders. Uh, to, I want to thank my elders for all of their information, and their history, their language, and the things that they have passed down to us um, for us to pass on to our future generations. Uh, to our children. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Lemon Lumch, Rest Hat Halt, Bessia, Pisan Cuscadio.